Hi everyone, Dr. Ashley Woyak at Forward Natural Medicine. Today I just wanted to take some time to talk about lab ranges because a lot of my patients are coming in and they're saying, uh, you know, their doctor endocrinologist said their lab is technically, or labs are technically normal, yet they are still feeling like crap. They have all these symptoms and they don't really know what to do and their doctor doesn't really know what to do. So, um, not the most exciting topic, but I think it's something we should, should cover. So just to start out with, how does a lab or um, a company determine their lab ranges and what's technically normal or what's uh, the reference range? Because all labs are going to have different values. UW Madison versus Dean versus a different draw site in the Madison area, they're going to have different reference ranges because they make their own reference ranges really they determine it based on all the people that have come into the lab and they take the average of those people to figure out what's normal and what's the range but if you think of people that are going to labs and getting work done it's sick people it's not healthy people so they are you know using sick people values to determine what's normal when really we should be looking at what is a healthy value what is um, like a healthy person that optimal range and that's what we do here at our clinic so for instance, um, the normal range is the 95 percentile area. So it's from here to here, lab low to, this is your lab low, and this is your lab high. So that's when you're definitely out of range and your doctor can diagnose you. But there's this area right here, I like to call it like a functional, um, functionally low or functionally high, where technically you're in that normal range, but you're trending towards this um, for sure absolute low and high and that's where you're gonna have symptoms because you're not in this area where a healthy person should be you're trending towards an unhealthy person and you're gonna have symptoms so that's why here at our office for all thyroid markers for all lab markers I look at the area where is a healthy person not a sick person so um, I hope that answered some questions it's if not that's definitely something we'll talk about at your appointment but uh, thank you for listening I'm dr. Ashley Wojak.